Yo, what up? It's your boy, Mr. E. Yesterday, we learned a little bit about multiplying with the standard algorithm. And I know most fifth graders coming in really prefer the box method and think that it's a better way to multiply. Well, we're gonna settle that with a match today. A boxing match. Let's get ready to rumble! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, students of all ages, thank you for coming tonight. I will be the referee for tonight's boxing match. In this corner, weighing in at 180 pounds, it is the box method. And in this corner, weighing in at 185 pounds, it is the standard algorithm. A lot is on the line tonight. Who will win? Let's set a few ground rules. First off, Mr. E will solve the same equation once with box method and once with standard algorithm. Number two, Mr. E cannot get any help from a calculator or his awesome wife, Mrs. E. There will be a timer in the top right corner that will determine which method was faster. Whoever has the shortest time will be deemed the champion of multiplication. Ready, go! And we're off. Now it looks like he is trying to separate his numbers to the expanded form. So he's got his top number up there and his side number on the side, and now he's creating the box. That is really important for the box method. It'd be really tough to do the box method without a box. So he's separating it into six different rectangles. He's starting at the bottom right, solving some of the simpler ones first. That's a very good idea, Mr. E. So it looks like he's got his bottom row done. Now he's moving on onto the top row. These ones are a little trickier. Better be careful, Mr. E. You don't want to make a mistake. That would be really, really sad. He's finishing up his top row. Now it looks like he's moving into the next part, which is adding all these numbers together. He's going to start by adding these top numbers together. Looks like he's doing it behind our timer. You hate to see that. But he's adding up those top three numbers together, and he's getting an answer of... What's he going to get? What's he going to get? 12,780. So that's what he got for his top row. Now he's going to add up the bottom row. He's adding these numbers up. Only three numbers. Lots of zeros in here. Pretty easy to add. Don't make a mistake, Mr. E. You can do it. So he adds these numbers up and he gets 2,130. Now he's got to add those two numbers together, stacks them on top of each other, adds them up to get an answer of 14,910. C equals 14,910. Wow, that was a great time. I don't know if standard algorithm will be able to stand up to this. Ready, go! Standard algorithm, starting hot out of the gate, stacking the number with the most digits on the top and the ones with the fewer digits on the bottom. He's drawing his arrows, making sure he's going from his ones place to his tens to his hundreds. He says five times six equals 30. He's just going so quickly. Wow, how fast can he go? He didn't forget the placeholder zero. That is so important. He's going back and erasing any of his stray marks and focusing on the tens place now. He's going to draw his arrows and he's gonna start multiplying. He does so good with his facts and he's doing such a great job. Wow, he's doing this so quickly. He's gonna add these two numbers up and it looks like he's about to be finished and what a time! Oh my goodness! Standard algorithm beats box method by almost a minute. We have a champion. We took a closer look at the tape and after further review we noticed that the numbers look pretty similar from the box method to the standard algorithm. Perhaps these two methods aren't so different after all. Wow, what a thrilling match. Who would have known that standard algorithm and box method have so much in common? You know what I think? As you're learning standard algorithm, it's totally okay to use the box method. Just keep pushing towards standard algorithm, keep practicing, keep getting a lot of repetitions in, and you'll be a pro in no time. I hope this video was helpful as you push harder towards standard algorithm and learning how to do it like a pro. Just a reminder to go check out my YouTube channel, Mystery6. Go like, comment, and subscribe. We love you guys, we miss you, and we'll see you later. Bye. The standard algorithm was the champion this time.
but will it have enough to beat the Big Seven? Find out next time.